but the first answer is asking a question. I am basically a student preparing for my engineering exam. I am actually facing some psychological issue. In my recent observation, I feel that whenever I try to increase the intensity of God consciousness or my Iman, then I cannot focus on my academic performance. And if I try to focus on my academics, then my intensity of God consciousness weakens. Why am I not able to carry out both with perfection? This is a very important question. But the father said that when he concentrates too much on his education, he cannot concentrate on his iman. His taqwa goes down. If he pays attention to his religiosity, to his iman and to his taqwa, his concentration on education goes down. Why is this and how can he solve the problem? Many a time this happens by the waswasa of the shaitan. The shaitan whispers and tells you, oh, now don't offer salah because tomorrow is the examination. So imagine if you are going to pray full day, you will be spending one, one and a half hour and you will not be able to do well. So you prepare one hour more for examination, you will do well. These are the waswasa that comes. But you have to know your priorities. Whenever two things which are important clash, always the one which is more important should be done first. For example, if to a doctor, a patient of heart attack, ischemic heart disease comes to him, and a person of common cold comes to him, who will he attend to first? But naturally a person who has a heart attack. If he doesn't attend to him, he will die. The person with a common cold, yes, has a chance. Similarly, where it comes between your taqwa and your iman, and between your education, both are important, without doubt, but the taqwa and the iman and salah is far more important. A million times more important than your education. Because this life is a test for the hereafter. And as I mentioned in my previous answer, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, point number one, hadith number 246, that the Prophet said that between a man and kuf and shirk is not praying of salah. So, if you think that if you become more religious, if you pray and if your iman increases, then your concentration of your education will go down. This is the vasvasa of the shaitan. In fact, if you pray properly, the amount of serenity you get, the amount of peace of mind you get, that you study better. I am a medical doctor, doing my medical studies but natural. I used to attention during the final exam. Most of the human beings have. But the moment you pray, your whole tension goes down. The serenity, the calmness that you get, your mind becomes more fresh. It is ingenuating. And these things are very important. These things are a must every day of your life. So my request to you is that between the two, your taqwa is more important, your iman is more important, your salah is more important. That does not mean that you neglect your education and your study. This vasvasa will surely go away. In your salah, you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please let me concentrate. And the moment you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please let me do well in the examination, please let me concentrate, inshallah, you will prepare for the examination better and you will fare also better. And when these thoughts come in your mind, you have to read, A'uzu billahi min shaitani rajim. A'uzu billahi min shaitani rajim. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the first. Very important. And the moment you say this, inshallah, your mind will come back into the track. But always remember, number one is taqwa, is iman, is salah. It is nowhere close to any other thing. And inshallah, if your taqwa is high, if your iman is high, if your salah is in place, inshallah you will do well even in your examination. Hypothetically, even if you don't do well in the examination, you will not do good in this examination of the world. But this life is an examination for the hereafter. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mul, chapter number 15, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al wal hayat. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. Inshallah, you will pass in the examination of the hereafter. And when we do dua, we say, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasna tamu fil akhra tafikina rabbinna. That, oh Allah, give me the good in this world and the hereafter. And save me from the torment of hellfire. And we pray to Allah, Rabbi zidni ilma. Increase me in knowledge and give me beneficial knowledge. So, inshallah, if your taqwa is high, your iman is high, your salah is proper, inshallah, your education also will be better. And you will come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will benefit you in the hereafter as well as in this world.